But let's begin with uh, some exclusive inputs. We are tracking after Times Now's expose into the drug cartel link in Mumbai. The tremors are being felt in Kerala as well. Huge trouble for CPM leader Kodiari Balakrishnan's son. Binish Kodiari's name has been linked to a drug smuggling gang and his pictures with drug suppliers that has gone viral. The opposition has now pounced on the left, asking them to clear the air. The drug cartel Neta link exploding, another political name spills out. Let me open this up. Vivek Karindalam joining us. Vivek Narayan Kurup, our executive editor, also with us. Vivek, what do you make of this? Well, it's a huge allegation uh, coming, uh, started by the uh, Muslim Youth League uh, leadership, P.K. Firoz, the state uh, general secretary, came out and made this statement and uh, uh, he came out with a series of documents which essentially showed a transcript of a conversation uh, that uh, the drug enforcement agencies had with one of the key um, peddlers out there. Now, this peddler, uh, whose name is Anoop Mohammed, along with another person called Rijesh Ravindran, especially Anoop Mohammed here, claims that he's a good friend of uh, Kodiyeri Balakrishnan's son. And who is Kodiyeri Balakrishnan? Technically the number two in the Kerala government. One of the senior most CPM leaders in the country today. His uh, son, Anu, uh, Binish Kodiyeri, is the one who's uh, allegedly uh, known to this uh, drug kingpin. Uh, in fact, when we spoke with uh, the family of uh, people close to Kodiyeri Balakrishnan and his son, they said they have admitted to knowing uh, this person, um, Anup Mohammed. They said it was more of a friendly dealing and that he never knew that this man was a drug peddler and he's genuinely surprised at this drug allegation. He said that he had quote-unquote loaned him 6 lakh rupees for a restaurant business in Bengaluru. Remember when the NCB officials caught uh, Anup Mohammed, they had uh, from him more than a kilo of uh, MMD and ecstasy. Well, this is what uh, led to them to look and stay backtrace. With us. Vivek, just stay yes. with us. Let me also bring in Deepak Bopana. Deepak, uh, it's not just the photos that we are talking about that has gone viral now. This man admits to helping the alleged drug peddler with six lakh, six lakh rupees. Uh, well, uh, Pranesh, I just spoke to uh, you know uh, Dinesh uh, Kodiyaria just a while ago, and uh, he's uh, he's told us that yes, he did in fact give him money. This was uh, several years ago. He says 2013, 2015. This was when he was in touch with him, and he says uh, like several this, this this particular restaurant that he wanted to start. He from a friend, Dinesh, one of them. Uh, he says that, uh, you know, he, he did give him money, but he was not uh, aware of any of the activities uh, that Anu carried out. Uh, I also questioned him with regard to these photos that are surfacing, uh, allegedly from a party that they all attended together. Uh, he again refused any charge. He said it was just a dinner that they all went to. And at that point in time, uh, you know, this photo was quick and it was later uploaded. And he says this uh, uh, photo is from uh, 2017. He says uh, that he contacted Anu because he helped him. Uh, get accommodations at a uh, at a cheaper price when he came to Bengaluru, and he says that right now it's just you know, being used for uh, political gains, and he is unaware completely of uh, uh, his involvement uh, with uh, uh, you know in, any of the uh, drug dealers or uh, his involvement uh, uh, at all in terms of uh, supplying drugs or you know possession of drugs. He says that he is completely unaware. Now he also says that these are. Uh, you know, uh, the allegations in particular being made against him because uh, uh, his political opponents uh, 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 feel uh, that this is an easy way of targeting him. So, but uh, we should also understand that we have also accessed a, a statement of Anu where he mentions that uh, for this restaurant, money was given by uh, uh, Binish. Now, I specifically asked him, you know, being a prominent political personality himself, uh, whether he does not really check the backgrounds of people before right. actually giving him uh, giving them, uh, you know, the such, but it's uh, troubling, uh, Vivek. Vivek, isn't it troubling? More and more political links now are uh, being involved with the drug cartel. Exactly, uh, Pranesh, not just in Kerala, but both in Kerala and Karnataka. The raids happened in Bangalore. The ones who've been arrested, especially Anoop and uh, Rijesh, have said that they've been supplying uh, these drugs and party drugs, especially to those involved in Kerala film industry. These include musicians, directors, actors, and also many in Kerala of the Malayalam film industry also. So the pattern is very clear. Film industry, politicians, uh, drug cartels, they are very closely linked, whether it be in Mumbai, in Goa, in Karnataka, in Kerala. Now, it's a movement that the NCB and the government of India has to t undertake to ensure that drugs are flushed out of the system and any political pat patronage at all has to be taken out. 
All right, stay with us. Let me quickly recap this uh, piece of uh, breaking information on Times Now. This is a drug angle with political links and big names involved in this. We are talking about top left Neta, Mr. Kodiari, Balakrishnan, considered Vivek, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, number two in uh, the scheme of things in Kerala. Vivek. Uh, yes, Pr Pranesh, I'm sorry, I missed your question. This is a left strong man that we are talking about, considered by many as yes. the number two in the scheme of things exactly. in Kerala. Exactly. exactly. He is the number two uh, in Kerala. He's also uh, one of the senior most uh, leaders of the Communist Party now in across the country. His son has been consistently a cause of concern for him. He's been uh, seen and... Uh, featured in many a controversy before this also but every time uh, uh, the party has hardly censured him he's got out uh, saying some of them were his personal issues and but this one is something which he's come out aggressively against he's spoken with media in fact he's spoken to times now also where he's admitted knowing the supplier he says that yes i know him i know him as a cloth merchant as a person who's uh, dealing in uh, garments and uh, he he helps me once in a while to uh, procure some this hotel rooms thoughts. reactions coming in on this pk firoz has spoken to times now listen in e business ne panam mudakkunnathu Kerala thale ur ariyepurna rakhtiya ne daavin da magen. Peer vallare vektamai yamariyam binish kudiriyam. E model Muhammad ne upo vallare vektamai parayinu. Eri ke hotel vivasayam thodangan mandi panam nalgiye the. Binish kudiriyam na yendu matra nalla parayinu the. Abde hethinde address arakam parayinu the. Trouble mounting for yes. Kodiyagiri, Kodiyag Mr. Uh, because uh, the opposition is now gunning for them. Deepak. Yes, uh, and now it seems like you know they've they've been cornered as well because of this particular statement that mentions him. Of you know he confesses to have known this man now a prominent uh, uh, you know for, for political personality like himself, especially with his father now uh, being uh, in one of the higher ranks of uh, the political scenario in Kerala. Probably should have been more aware of uh, where his money was uh, going, and he he says that he had uh, no, no aware. Uh, he was not at all aware of uh, you know the uh, drug dealings that Anup was involved in. So you are talking about he... that, Deepak. Just hold your thoughts. Let's play out. Let's play out the conversation that you had with Binish. He says that yes, I did give him six lakh rupees, but I was misled. I did not know that he was into drug business. I was told that he was dealing with in textiles. Listen to this. But what is your connection with the accused? Why has he mentioned your name, and what sort of, uh, you know, financial assistance did you give him? Nothing is. I know him for so long, so long, so long as I know. Till 2012, I know. I know only because in the near that he say T-shirt business he do. They did that in Bangalore. That time only I know. That after that he started his restaurant business. That time he took to borrowed money from so many friends. I also give the money to him. That's what I know. But there are some photographs that he shared of you both attending parties together. That is not from in Julie Jin. That is one of my friend Abhi. All of our friend Abhi. Abhi took that took that photo and put that in tag me and I don't know. That is not in Kumaragam. I put my beard in the last eight to nine months. That is in 2017 picture. Abhi told me that can I tag you something like that? It's a fun fun party with that. That's it. Okay, but you you were there with you were there with him in the party. I never been. That is not a party. After we took the summer, have I had a dinner and we took the photo and that. That is not a party picture. But you told me you only knew him uh, many years ago. But this was a recent picture, right? This is uh, I know very new, very long. I know this is a very new recent picture in 2017, not in 2019 or not 2016. Okay, 2017. So when were you given the money for the restaurant? 2015. Okay, in 2015 you gave him the money. Now, what do you make of the, uh, you know, charge against you that you were closely involved and you probably knew that he was involved in the business of drugs? Yeah, that is an allegation. I don't have any time. That is an allegation. So many allegations you put on me in last 20 years. What is the result for that? Hmm, hmm, hmm. So what and also right now will you take any sort of legal action against them? That was Binesh, Binesh uh, Kodiari speaking to Deepak Bopanna and Vivek. Uh, interesting he says yes I admit that I knew this man in 2015. I gave him 6 lakh rupees but I was misled. I didn't know what, is, uh, what he was up to. I did not know that he was into drug peddling. 
Well, that's his uh, open uh, admission right now that he knew the person. So what's wrong? I knew him as a garment manufacturer. He's helped me earlier, a couple of occasions to procure rooms across the country in Bengaluru, especially. Uh, he's helped me uh, uh, with with restaurants. Yes, I knew him as a friend, and he says that he's surprised to learn. He claims that uh, it may not be the right allegations against this person, and even if it is, he never knew what the kind of business this person had behind his back. Well, he says I helped him in 2000. 15 with 6 lakh rupees because he wanted certain help in his business. Well, uh, it's for the drug enforcement agencies to now go and uh, check Let's whether, see whether something that beyond that. Holds. Deepak Bopanna, thanks for your inputs, Vivek. Thanks for putting the story in perspective. A short break. Lots more lined up on Times Now. Please stay with us.